All right, on this problem, we're supposed to graph the solution set of what appears to be three different linear inequalities. And so to do this, um, we'll approach it just like we did um, graphing a single linear inequality. We'll take it a piece at a time. So first of all, looking at um, 1 is less than x plus y is less than 8, let's consider this can be rewritten as x plus y is greater than 1 and x plus y is less than 8. Okay, so we actually have two separate linear inequalities here. Our first one, the intercept method will work nice on this one. The ordered pair if x is 0, y is 1, will be on our graph. And if y is 0, this term goes out and we get x is 1. So there are the two ordered pairs that we need. So we'll plot the ordered pair uh, 0, 1 and 1, 0. And here we want to graph this with a dashed line because no equality is allowed. And since we're putting multiple lines on our graph, let's label this x plus y equals 1. Likewise, then, uh, for this second inequality, x plus y is less than 8. The ordered pair 0, 8 is on the graph, and so is 8, 0. And again, that's if we let x be 0, y turns out to be 8. If y is 0, this term goes away and x is 8. So plotting this, we've got one, two, three. Um, I'm going to go way up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to extend our y axis up that direction, extend our x axis out here. And that's going to be approximately eight there. We'll draw a dashed line through those two ordered pairs. And again, we'll label this one then um, x plus y equals 8. And notice, these two lines are parallel. And if we check the slope and the y-intercepts of the two lines, we'll see that they have the same slope and different y-intercepts. Now notice we haven't talked about shading yet. We're going to hold off on that for just a moment and continue on. Um, when we look at x is less than 5, we would want to look at the vertical line x equal 5, but we're going to graph it with a dashed line. So we'll say that's approximately uh, 5 there. And this is x equal 5. And then also we have y less than 5. And here we want to graph the line y equal 5 with a dashed line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll draw out that horizontal line and label it y equal and so now, let's take into consideration the shading here. On the first line, x plus y is greater than 0. That's this line here. Our test point 0, 0 is not a solution because we get 0 greater than 1, which is not true, which means for this line we're going to be shading this direction. For the second line, x plus y equal 8, testing the ordered pair 0, 0 into the inequality, we get 0 plus 0, which is less than 8. So this line here means we would shade this way. Now the keyword AND tells us we're looking at the intersection of those two shaded areas, which right now is right here in the middle. Okay. 
Taking into account x has to be less than 5. Here's our line x equal 5. x less than 5 tells us to shade this direction. The linear inequality y less than 5, if we look at the line y equal 5, y less than 5 tells us to shade below. So the intersection of all those different shaded areas is right here. And we'll indicate that by shading that region. Okay, that means every ordered pair in this shaded region will solve this inequality and this inequality and this inequality.